Yo, what is good? And welcome to This, That, and The Third, starring yours truly, Calvin Leroy King, The Third. And I got my lovely co-hostess with the most to my side. Miss Reese PC, y'all. What's up? Y'all already know what it is, man. And today we're going to be recapping some of our dopest guests from 2017, beginning with Avant. So, Reese, you had the pleasure of interviewing Avant. Man, what were some highlights from that interview? I mean, actually, it was around Christmas time. Yeah. Um, he performed at City Winery. True. It was really, really nice because I grew up, Avant was like R. Kelly's baby brother. He you was know what I'm saying? He was the guy. <laughs> so it was real cool to get to talk to him and to talk about what he does for the holidays with his girls. Right. Um, and his performance was dope. That's so, what's up. That's what's nice. up. I wish I could have been there, but every time we have an exclusive interview, you know we got to send the face of the brand. So <laughs> up next, we got a... Uh, D-Nash. Now, this is the brother, for those of y'all that don't know, he walked all the way from Chicago to, to D.C. I, I think it took him about 30 days. Yeah. And the overall purpose was he was trying to raise awareness for the violence that's going on here in Chicago. And his organization replaced guns with, with hammers. hammers. Right. Um, and so he walked and he's actually uh, filming or he filmed a documentary right. um, while he was walking. And I think he's getting a lot of uh, good feedback from it and right. response from it from the community um, nationally. So I'm excited to see what he has next. Yeah, because I definitely want to see how can we implement, you know, the yeah. thought of replacing guns with, with hammers. hammers, put our young kids to work and give them something positive to do with their uh, free time. Yeah, so shout out to Nash. On the real. Next up, we have your um, boy, Oak Park River Forest Finest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Anthony Clark. What's going on with this brother? So he is running uh, for the 7th District Congressional seat in Congress mm -hmm. um, against Danny Davis, who, is, who has been in that seat for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but I think with Anthony, he's a teacher. Right. He's, he has a not-for-profit. He's been out there on the pavement uh, with the kids working. Sure, and indeed. I just think it's time for a fresh face. Yeah, a lot of times in politics, the changing of the old to the new regime is kind of a tough task. Mm -hmm. So he definitely has his work cut out for him. But regardless of who you're voting for, be sure y'all go out and rock those polls when the opportunity presents itself. Yes, definitely. All right. Next up. My brother, the fly guy, right? Dave Jeff, <laughs> all right? So this is my man, 50 Grand, uh, the ar architectural designer behind the fly brand. And he also works with the likes of Nike, uh, K-Swiss. He partners and collabs with a lot of the Chicago influencers like Leaders, Success, mm -hmm. and uh, Bobby Simmons and all them guys. So uh, Dave Jeff is just literally the fly guy. For those that don't know, fly is an acronym for I love Hyde Park and or I love helping people spelled backwards. So shout out to Dave and the Fly Movement. Did you know he was just on Empire? I did know that. Yeah. I haven't seen the episode. Yep. I saw I he put it, he posted that. it on Instagram. But I don't yeah, watch it either. Yeah. So, so shout out to shout Dave. Out Dave. Shout out Dave Jeff. Out to Empire. And Terrence Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Oh uh, boy. David Peterson. No. Plug fella. Plug okay. fella. David For Peterson. him to be so young, yes. I felt like he was dropping gems on us the entire He's definitely interview. wise beyond his yeah. years. Uh, representative from the Pullman uh, Museum. Yeah, Pullman uh, Museum. He just, you know, he puts on for the city, man, and he's very articulate, but very well versed in what's going yes. on here in the city. And I think we need more like this brother that can really articulate our struggles, our stories, and our triumphs that are going here on going on here in the South Side and citywide. And he actually got to sit down with Prince Harry mm -hmm. when he was in town, so that was dope. That was super dope. Living up to the name. Yeah. Plug. <laughs> Next up, your man. Delma T. Pongo. This guy is very entertaining. He's a uh, media personality, a journalist, and he's working at WGN right now. Um, he has his own podcast with the Chicago Urban League. Yeah, with right? the Urban League, yeah. Um, called Culture, Race, and Equity, and a equity, seat at the yep. table. All them um, and he is just, he's like Dave. He's killing it. Yeah, he's yeah. Killing it, man. To these be young so movers young. And shakers, man. These influencers and everything like that. And it's really, I think, giving our younger or next generation, rather, just someone that's to look attainable up to, yeah. to look up to. So it's not necessarily somebody that you look up to and you only see them online or you only see them on TV. You see them in your community. You yeah. see them at the same events you attend. So, man, shouts out and salute to my boy, uh, Doma T. Next up. Another OPRF alum. Gotta love her. My girl. Gotta love uh, Doretha Hill. And she has a clothing line called the Funky T Bar. Funky and she bar. has a t shirt line. And she does mugs mm -hmm. and pillows she's and doing other, other stuff. Like household yeah. type things, throw pillows and things like that. Um, but she's an artist and she graduated from Columbia. And so now she's just really living in her passion. Yeah. And so I always support her rocking her uh, naturally dope tees. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she was a fun guest. 
Yeah, dope messages, uh, very creative, very funky, as the name suggests. And uh, just anyone that can turn their passion into their uh, profession, I really love that. So shouts out and salute to her as well. Yep. GLC, GLC with the ism. The isms. Shout out. <laughs> he be throwing up AKA key, yeah. but you know, ism face that. But uh, yeah, GLC was one of our standout guests. Obviously, you may have heard him on a lot of Kanye's Kanye projects and his own standalone projects. But this brother is more than just a musical artist. He's a creative. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. he and he's recently it. on Kendrick Lamar's mm -hmm. album. Yeah. Um, he's working on some of his own music. And he has cakes, vegan yeah. cakes, yeah. at the Lighthouse Grills called Ism. Yeah. So if you haven't had one, um, check him out on Instagram. It ism as a spell, yeah. ism. Um, and he was dope. You were late for this interview. Well, I was a little tired. And for so the party. I got to really interview him one on one, and he he's interesting. And it all worked <laughs> out, and we still together. Right. All right. Next up, my man Jeff Osuji from doc, uh, BlackDoctor.org, as well as one of the co-founders of Pyramid Marketing Solutions LLC who just happens to be our executive, executive producers, producers for this and third. And uh, Femi as well is the other co-founder. And these brothers are just putting on for the Chicago nightlife scene for young professionals mm -hmm. in and around the city. Mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of sitting down with a young lady that um, she pretty much said that of all the promoters in the city, she they, these are the two that she calls and says, what dates do you want for next year? Mm. Versus promoters calling her and saying, can I get a date? Yeah. Can I throw a Super Bowl party? Can I have a, you know, That says whatever. a lot. That says a lot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, lawyers and directors respectively, but, you know, just movers and shakers, they call Jeff the Diddy of the city. Mm. If y'all haven't Googled this brother, Google him, and he Google. pops up immediately with a picture of uh, Michelle Obama. It's just like, who does that? Who just has, <laughs> when you Google them, it's just them and the first lady. So shout All out right. to Jeff, shout out to Femi, shout out to the movement. This is my man, Jay Justin. Morgan, Jay Morg Entertainment, Justin Morgan from Jay Morgan Entertainment. And this brother is another plugged fella. I mean, yeah. he's inviting us to these different events and they yes. always turn out to be super exclusive. Perfect, professional, nice. everything Very works nice. out. You don't yeah. have to wait. You don't have to, yo, 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 I'm outside. None yeah, of that. None, none of, that, of that. None of that. And I like the way when he told his story on the podcast, he mentioned how he didn't ask for permission to chase his dream and his destiny. He mm -hmm. just took it, you he know what I'm did. saying? He he finessed a little bit uh, his way into the industry and made the best out of the opportunity. And we know we're some of the most resourceful people yeah. on the planet Earth, you know, and he's a shining example of that. So um, shout yeah, out yeah. to the Jay Moore movement as well. Oh, oh, let's give a moment to Calvin so he can get his thoughts together to talk about his work wife. Love. <laughs> <laughs> the first word that comes to mind when I think of <laughs> Kelly Fair and the Polished Pebbles Polished Movement. Pebbles. Now, this is a female mentoring program that gives our young ladies exposure opportunities to different career paths and mm -hmm. workforce development opportunities, all for our beautiful black and brown babies, not only here in the city, but she's already in Texas. Yeah. She's at Duke University, Northwest Indiana. She's all on TV with Kenny Lattimore and everybody else. I know. Else. She was I'm honored like, um, at ABC's event. Mm -hmm. um, forget what it's called. But it was something super but sexy. But Lynn Whitfield, I mean, she Man. was among a lot of big names. So yeah. she's doing her thing. So shout out to my non-for-profit wife, <laughs> Kelly Fair, the one and only. We love you. John, John B. B. He's a personal friend of the family. Friend of the show, ah, Shout out OA Agency. But, um, yeah, John B. was a dope guy to interview. I got a chance to check him out while he was uh, performing at City, City Winery. Okay. Um, and so it was real cool. This is my second time interviewing John and talking to him. And for those who don't know, because, you know, you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't know mm -hmm. John B.'s been around a long time. He's been in it for a minute. Like 20-plus like, years. So you know. Yeah, he, he yeah. Been, Pac been dead for 20. Right. So. <laughs> Big, but he's bath. still, he's so soft-spoken, so humble, um, yeah. and he's working on new music and just really traveling and touring right now. Yeah, and I think he was one of the ones, in inclu including Avant, and we were talking about once you got your following, yeah. like, the whole remainder of your life is going to be touring mm -hmm. and just, you know, show after show after show. So while you think that they're gone, they're just kind of under the radar. Yeah. Yeah. Lynn and Solar. Now, this is a local celebrity, micro-influencer, and just an emerging artist here in Chicago. I actually had the pleasure of going to school with her and saw her start her career and what has evolved into. And I'm very proud of this young lady, man. You know she's a Sag baby? I did know she's a Sag. Her birthday is right, I think, in between right ours. Yeah. All right? Yep. And um, one of the things that really stands out about her message is that she says that we all have a superhero within us. So we're mm -hmm. like daily superheroes. And I really like that message, not only for us as, you know, just 
grown folks, but also the babies the that kids. can be influenced by that. So y'all be sure yeah. to check her out on SoundCloud and iTunes by searching uh, Lynn Solar. And most Marcia. recently, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yeah, so I got to interview her, was it last Friday? Yep. Last Friday at the Godfrey Hotel. Um, and I actually seen her perform at Essence right. a few years back. She's dope. really dope. dope. I've liked her and followed her since Floetry. Yeah. Which, again, many they millennials sleep. don't know Floetry. The sleep. You got to wake so the babies up. She just had a daughter last year. So she was here uh, for an event at the promontory doing a toy drive in uh, the name of her daughter, mm -hmm. which is titled her, which her album is titled after, what Nyla. Nyla? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just about her journey from New York to L.A., in the music business, um, love, kids, first time uh, mommy and all that. So she was really cool, relaxed, humble. Shout out to progress. Yeah. All right. And of course, Troy Pryor of Troy Pryor Studios, the Creative, creative Cypher, Cypher, Pyramid, and the Creative Cypher are actually joining forces for Pyramid Creations, which is going to be a dope, dope piece that that's coming Ooh. out uh, at, the t at the top of 2018. Okay. And Troy is just one of those people that says, uh, we have enough talent here in our own backyard that we don't need to move to L.A. or to New York to find fame and fortune. We can actually build the different systems and infrastructures that we have resources and access here. to right here in the city. Uh, so shout out to the Creative Cypher. Shout out to Troy Pryor Studios and all the moves that Troy is making in and throughout the city. Well, and shout out to Troy because that's how I met Calvin. Yes, at the Creative Cypher, yeah. what was it, 2015? It was yeah. a bit of a minute. Yeah. It's been a cool minute, <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah, we just wanted to take the time out to shout out all of our amazing guests from the past year and to let you all know to be sure to stay with us, tune in, and turn up with us as we move into 2018 and have even doper guests and even fresher topics and segments such as this one. So, once again, it's been another episode of This, That, and the Third, starting yours truly, Calvin Leroy King the Third. And your girl, Reese PC, the one and only. And be sure to check us out on all our social media platforms, SoundCloud, and iTunes by searching This, That, and the Third with the third spelled I-I-I, like the Roman numeral three. We out. One love. Peace.